Time now for the transmat to bring us another potential mastermind. So let us... Oh, Let the whole that door open. This should only take a sec. And finally tonight, our new contestant makes an appearance. Please take a seat. You what? Why'd you do that? Now, since Jeffrey Fanat from Parallaxis performed so poorly in his specialist subject, you've been assigned as his replacement for the general knowledge round. Apologies for the bits of Jeff still on the chair, we didn't have time to get you a cushion. Oh, peas and rice. And without further ado, let's meet our newest mastermind. Your name, please. The Doctor. Your occupation. Nosy part. What would have been your specialist subject? The existential guilt that a man who committed double genocide for the right reasons feels every waking second of his near-immortal existence, and how it hangs over him like a woefully eclipsing shadow that torments his every action, thought, or intent from that day on until the end of time. Or chips. Look, I don't want to look like a sore loser here, but I've had no time to prep for this. I mean, I know a lot about a lot, but what happens if I don't do well? The same as every failed mastermind contestant. The magnetic chair you're sitting on will swiftly fill you with a kajillion volts until your brain explodes and your entire body crumbles to ash. What's wrong with giving me a cuddly toy and an Argos voucher? These are the game station rules, Doctor. And your time starts... Well, never mind. This is a general knowledge round, and I've got a time machine. All I've got to do is make a mental note of every answer I give you, survive this adventure, pop back in my not-too-distant future, and change the answers on that sheet you're holding before it's even been printed. Easy. And your time starts... Now. Which Australian state capital lay on the Torrens River? The one who could flow. How many letters does the Greek alphabet contain? One. In chess, what is the alternative name... For the castle. A tiny Nathan Fillion. Who followed King John to the English throne? The toilet paper stuck to his shoe. In the days of old Jaconda, what vegetable was used to flavour its most popular beverage? Your mum. What were the first names of the six Larkin children in the Darling Buds of May? Pew Pew, Barney McGrew, Cuthbert, Dibble and Grub. Which of the Wright brothers was the first to fly? Easy. The one who went like this. The root and host are known to only live off of what food source? Chips. A parsec is a measurement of... Chips. In Norse mythology... Chips. How many... Chips. I'm a big stinky doo-doo head and will never be as cool as a bow tie. I assume so. Though I'm not sure why I'd write that last bit. In which... I've started, so I'll finish. That's what she said. Correct. And at the end of that round, you've earned the right to use your sonic doodad to release yourself from the chair and be on your merry way. Wait a minute, that can't be right. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Linda, wrong room. We'll keep looking. In fact, according to the rules of the game I now have in my hard drive, I meant to babble on whilst the credits roll. I'm not entirely sure what that means or why it's there, but here we are. Sure I can do that quite successfully? Dooby-doo. Here, would anyone like to hear a joke about the game station's gender pay gap? No! 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 No!